to them now. Introducing your referee, Mr. Tirasen Sira Ratsakun. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting of the Red Connor, 21 years of age. He stands at 183 centimeters tall and weighed 147 pounds. He holds a record of 60 wins and 21 losses. He is a former Russian Nerd Stadium minimum weight champion and former Russian Nerd Stadium welterweight champion, representing the Kasi Tamara, Thailand. Let's hear it for Hercules. One couple, MBK. Fighting by the Blue Connor, 23 years of age. He stands at 172 centimeters tall and weighed in at 46.6 pounds. He holds a record of 53 wins and eight losses. He is Wan Song Chai S1, Muay Thai tournament champion, and IBF Muay Thai champion, and the former Rasama Stadium Weatherweight champion, representing Turkey. Let's hear it for the Professor Adam Dinsa, the BMC Labai Muay Thai. Well, these two have competed in two Rajnava Stadium title fights. This feels just as tense, if not more, right now. The first. RWS final four matchup of this year. Hercules in the red and black. And now we've seen Ninja in the red and white. We've seen Hercules doing very well pushing forward. Not doing as well competing. He's back against the ropes and it seems like tonight he's willing to go forward against Erdem Dinzer. Oh! Hercules were well aware of the punching power of Erdem. I'll do everything to try and keep him away. And those kicks, those teeps will do that. Oh, there it is again. Relaxed. As he always is. Even when he gets kicked, sorry, gets hit by a flying knee, still manages to pop back up and continue. <laughs> very true. Yeah, but like you said, that first fight between these two, very controversial, me. Mm. But Ooh! there it is again. Adam, <laughs> acknowledging that jumping knee. Not having the uh, desired effect of the outcome that it had in the uh, first bout. Well, it was the second bout, wasn't it? The first bout, like I said, was a little bit controversial. Many thought that Ninja did enough to retain the title, but the second one, Hercules, looked very convincing to retain. Knocking down Rhythm with a jumping knee. Rhythm, the more active of the two so far. Oh, but a good kick. Power shot coming from Hercules. Again, flying into the midsection there on Hercules. Still a very close round, no opinion. Oh, well timed push kick from Hercules. Don't think he's going to come closer. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. I think he's well aware of the power you possess. Body strikes there from Erdem. The clinch is going to be a key fact here. If Erdem is able to match, Hercules in a clinch. It would be a very difficult night for Hercules, but he seems to be comfortable on the outside right now. Oh! The left high kick just flicking off the cheek there, I think, of Erdem. Erdem asking Hercules to come out of the ropes. Oh! The elbow! Nice! Erdem looking at oh. Both so fighters. So tall. 11 centimeters tall. Then Erdem. Stepping knee, testing the body, testing that six pack. Hold that right there from Erdem. And you said that reach of is making it so difficult for Erdem to land those punches to the head. No! Hercules, they jumping in. He almost got clipped with a over on left. A little bit relentless jumping like that so far. Erdem able to land beautiful shots as well. Two seconds remaining in the first round, and a jumping knee again, who said it? Massive right hand! Seems to be obsessed with that flying knee. That put him in danger. Absolutely. And a very close round. Both fighters very confident they've done enough to win it. Well, you know, before that, that big right hand, or was it a left? Anyway, 
Ars Wenger, the Hercules, was looking in, in control, even on the back foot with those teeth. It didn't really look like the Dinger was having a lot of success getting through the guard, but that left hand just wobbled Hercules right at the end of the round. Absolutely. That flying in missed that time. Woo. That was the very first jumping knee on the house. There it is. I think that was the first one still. Seems like the replay loved this. Just a bit of a mistake once again. Oh. And, and pre the initial flying knee that he threw, he was looking great, just keeping and keeping Dinger away from him. But all right, well, he is down. He's hurt him right now. On two of the judges' scorecards, let's see what happens here in round number two. Erlen still very confident every time. It's amazing to see him compete. Hercules, though, now that he's got the advantage, it's going to be very difficult. Ooh, ooh beautiful kick. That low kick there from Dinger. Hercules has got a nice left jab. Oh, oh and a big right elbow. Great shot there from Hercules, just bouncing off the ropes. The body strike there from Erdem. Hercules just very good at neutralizing his opponents from doing what they're good at. He can. There you can see the significant strikes from round the one. 15 to 14 in favor of Hercules. That was close. Visually it was close and on the, uh, the, the strikes landed as well. Just backs up what we thought. There you can see Hercules. Good, good footwork there from the taller fighter. Heard him asking Hercules to come and fight. I don't think Hercules will do that at all. Yeah, looking for the jab. Hercules swinging. Footwork once again there from Hercules. Great defense from Hercules so far. Two to the body. Good low kick there from Dinja. Hercules grabs a hold of him, senses the danger, does the right thing. Uh, Hercules being very defensive right now, making it difficult for Erden, that's for sure, but is he also landing enough shots? Oh, but look at that, big right kick as I say that. One block from Erden. Hercules almost running away right now. Yep, yeah. here comes a warning from the ref. Not a warning. Yes, just a few sayings. <laughs> what we haven't seen though from the refs here in RWS, they have won, but you haven't picked up to any points. Absolutely. You know, if, he could, if he does see Hercules continue to move back, then I hope you know, that they back up. The fact that they won't fight is to not move backwards. That yeah, is the absolutely. rule. Oh, take the oh. there for Hercules, put him in trouble. Yeah, it's incredible. So, in the clinch. Erdem also perhaps landing more knees than Hercules. It's a very close round. Oh, look at that. Knees against hands. Look at that from Erdem. That's one of his big successes, is that? Yes, so this is the front left leg of Hercules. This is going to be another very controversial round for sure. <laughs> Erdem definitely not working. Hercules, but Hercules oh, on a big shot, and a beautiful right hand, knee. Right knee. Beautiful combo. Erdem can smile. That connected, and it will be scoring for sure. End of round number two. And like I said, it wasn't knocked down, but it was technically masterful that for Hercules. And a happy Hercules for sure. A happy tournament as well. Jumping over the ropes just now. Hercules, like you said, Antoine, was on the back foot. Erdem was having to chase. But, like you said, the end of that round with that combination, oh, starting off the round with that elbow, there's the knee. There it is, right hand, right knee combo. The might have won in the round, but it's that close. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. what, what else can you separate these two with so far? And what you've seen? Of course, Erdem off balanced from that knee. Erdem will now need a knockdown to go to the extra round. Yeah, that's right. Something we haven't mentioned, of course, if it is a draw after three rounds, they will be an extension round. Of course, everything is still doable.
even though it will be very difficult for sure. Now you can expect Hercules to be running away even more than he was in the previous round, because he technically only needs to not get knocked down in order to win this fight. And you see Erdem closing the distance, but Erdem, sorry, Hercules just popping that jab and finding a way to frustrate Erdem once again. Now you can see the corner of Erdem just asking him to use his hands, of course, he needs to knock down, so not really any other choice right now. And Hercules now it's all about running down the clock. All he has to do is not get knocked down, even if he loses the round, he's still free. Of course, the final of this year's tournament. Of course, because there is clinching in Muay Thai. The fact that he'll be clinching and holding his opponent is allowed. Ooh. He just can't get close. Yeah, absolutely. Very difficult, of course. Hercules so tall. Even when he throws that right hand, still. He's not finding the mark. Ooh. Oh, good kicks to the body there from Erdem. He's got the two minutes to find something special here. Good head movement there from Hercules, ducking under, grabbing a hold. It's textbook. It's yeah. frustrating, I'm sure, for the viewers and indeed for Erdem. But oh, and for oh. the second time, another warning. So what are we going to get now? Another warning? Well, Erdem needs to stay in the fight. Talking to the crowd is not going to help him out right now. With another warning, perhaps I could go to the extra round. Of course, one and a half minute remaining. He wants to get out of the clinch for sure. 70 seconds remaining for Erdem to turn this fight around. It's not over yet. Big hands. There's that jab once again. So from Hercules. Hercules hasn't really been throwing anything right now. Mostly defensive work. Oh! <laughs> Low kicks there from Erdem once again to that mid left leg. Now Erdem, he needs to stay active, stay in the fight. 30 seconds remaining. Could there be a case where the ref takes away a point? I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, I'm interested well, to know the ruling on that because it's been... After what, the third warning, two technically, warnings. it should be a point deducted. Now the crowd is booing Hercules. And there could be a deduction right here. Really frustrating for the fans in attendance. But like I said, I don't really think we can blame the game plan of Hercules. If it works, it works. There you have it. We have our first of finalist, Bruce. To this year's tournament, Hercules, the former Rackham Stadium champion, makes it 3-0 against a very frustrated Erdem Ninja right now. Yeah, absolutely, and you've got to say it's also frustrating from the rules. Two warnings, perhaps that third warning should have came. That point deduction could have been here. The crowd is definitely not happy about it. Erdem, Erdem is not happy he about it. He's a bit heartbroken, doesn't he, to be honest? Absolutely. But let's be honest, though, Hercules a perfect game plan. Yeah, I agree. Apart from that, <laughs> it's pretty in danger. But he's just completely frustrated. Erdem Dinger from the uh, opening bell to the last. Using teams, using the jab, defending well. All right, let's make this one official, of course, and then we'll move on to our second semi-final matchup. But we've already got our first finalist. Of the three rounds of Boy Thai action. We go to the judge of scorecard. The first judge score is about 29 to 28. The second judge score 29 to 28. And the third judge score 30 to 27. Declare your winner by way of unity post decision.
gets the job done. And he is through to the RWS. To